Hello there guys, my name is Kirsty Shadlong, the born but built for theme park news and welcome to a theme park news room update where today we're going to be talking about Lego Land Winter because we've got a brand new world set to open in 2021 and the park have now started to officially tease the brand new world. Now in this video we're going to be sharing with you the official screenshots from the website, from the top and the bottom of the website. I've got a link to the website which will also be in the description of this video so go and check it out. And uh, we're also going to be looking at my thoughts on what it could be, because I've got a particular LEGO brand that could be the theme for this brand new area. So before we get started, guys, make sure you like the video if you've loved it. Make sure you comment down below your thoughts and opinions. Keep subscribing to the channel. And, you know, keep watching all the, all the previous videos, because... Don't forget, we're getting closer and closer to 2,000 subscribers and nearly half a million views across all the videos, which is unbelievable. So uh, keep watching the old videos, keep watching the new ones, keep subscribing, keep getting your friends and your family to subscribe, keep putting it over social media, um, and I can't wait to put more videos out there over the next few weeks. And uh, for now, let's have a look. So first of all, a little bit of history. So of course, we knew, first of all, this is going to be a brand new area. Uh, around the section where Squid Surfer is, it's going to be a brand new flying theatre attraction and uh, some more refurbishments here and there. And the original theme was the Lego movie, movie World and then the third film I think either got shelved or cancelled so they've removed the Lego Movie World theme and now they're going to put in a brand new theme for this area. And now we've got the teaser which could suggest what it could be. And I've got an idea in mind so let's have a look at the branding from the website. So this is of course from the Lego Land website which is absolutely brilliant. So a uh, big shout out to the team at Legoland for putting in incredible branding. And uh, you can see on your right of your screen, you can see the top of the website, that, well, the image from the top of the website, and at the left of the image next to it, on the opposite side, you can see uh, what the bottom of the website is, and that is located below the sign up click box where you can sign up to the newsletter for more uh, details on this. But uh, does this look familiar to you? Because um, I think it could be potentially on the Legends of Chima branding, and I'm going to talk more about it in a little bit. But, of course, if you don't know what the, how the website works, well, the new 2021 uh, website, basically they've got this at the top, and then they talk about the brand new world in like a sentence, and then uh, you can sign up to the newsletter for more information, and then at the bottom you've got this dragon tail thing, I guess, this golden tail uh, with the dark blue branding in the background uh, for that particular part of the website. So there we are, that is looking at the website for Legoland Windsor. Again, I'm going to link that website in the description down below, so check it out. Now, I spoke about my prediction of the Legends of Chima, of course, that is a very ancient kind of theme. Um, Chima is used in the world, in the Legoland theme parks around the world at times. Um, but I think there's only one sort of land of Chima, like a themed area of Chima. If, I think there's one, I'm not too sure. But um, if not, then this will be the first ever Legends of Chima area. But I definitely think there is one. And, you know, I think that Legoland Windsor adding a world of Chima wouldn't be a bad option. Especially with the main attraction being a flying theatre. I think that uh, they could really utilise the idea of flying over the battles of Chima. And uh, use some nice effects and some extra sound effects and some special effects to indulge you into the Chima atmosphere. So I think that the Legends of Chima would not be a bad alternative to Lego Movie World, which was the original theme uh, for this new area. Uh, but I like how Legoland Windsor are interested in building this new area. They're constructing it right now. Uh, as we speak, you know, they're building in the buildings and, you know, they've really worked on site over recent weeks uh, to get this area's preparation up and underway. So I think that they're at a good stage of the construction and now we start to see the branding for this area. And, um, you know, I think this is definitely going to be a welcome addition to the park. I think this is going to be a brilliant addition to the theme park. And um, I think if it is Legends of Chima, or in my opinion, I think the name of the area will be the World of Chima. I think that this will could be a uh, a great addition to the park in terms of bringing in this particular brand and this particular IP into the Legoland theme parks. So I don't think if Legoland Windsor has a success with this one, if it is Chima, this could spur on other Legoland parks to add this brand as well. So it will be interesting to see what happens with it. But thank you very much, guys, for watching this video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe for more. Click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. And for now, guys, my name is Coach Shell, Kill on the Coast of Life, and I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have an awesome day.